Hello my friends and happy Tuesday and welcome to another sunscreen review in my six days of sunscreen video series. Today's video will be a review of the Pestlo Safe Recipe Panthenol and Ceramide SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 all mineral Korean sunscreen. As mentioned in the last video in the series, these products were all kindly gifted by Stylevana, and I will have a discount code up on the screen for you if you would like to get a discount on the Stylevana website. If you are new to this series or just stumbling upon this, I will also have a link to the playlist so you can kind of catch up on what's going on here. Then again, it probably doesn't really take a rocket scientist to be able to figure out, oh, we're reviewing sunscreen. So just like before, we are going to apply this sunscreen while I share with you some general thoughts about it. Look at this, I cut my finger, so I gotta work around that. I literally just looked down at my hand this morning and lo and behold, I see a whole bunch of blood pouring out of it. Why am I so bad at life, y'all? I don't, I really don't understand. Why am I so bad at life? The sunscreen has an almost minty smell. No, it smells like it smells exactly like rosemary. That is rosemary in here. I will say I'm very excited about trying this particular sunscreen. I tend to prefer mineral filters, although I will say Make Prim went really well yesterday. This is just something that I have more familiarity with, I guess you could say. And I did notice that there weren't a lot of reviews for this product, but the reviews that did exist were very good. Very, very good reviews. A lot of people were saying that this sunscreen does not have much of a white cast to it, and I'm already seeing that. It is already rapidly disappearing into my skin. Well, that's going to earn it some points in terms of application, and this is turning out to be very quick to apply. Wow. Wow. Huh. Adding a little more, I want to make sure I get my ears today because unlike yesterday, today we are actually venturing outside the house. I'm going to be going to the gym. Wow, that looks amazing. How on earth? No makeup before the gym. Trust me, I've done all of that in the past. In my 20s, I definitely put makeup on specifically for the gym. By the time you hit your 30s, you're just kind of like, nobody actually cares if I'm wearing makeup at the gym or not. But let's do an overview real quickly here of this product. Again, this is a brand that I hadn't heard of, but that was a an impressive uh, first impression. So this is $22 for 50 milliliters, although it is currently on sale for 15. Just so you all know, I'm filming these videos all exactly one week before you see them. Uh, so hopefully the prices haven't changed too much. There's always some variation in Korean sunscreens, I've, or Korean skincare as a whole, I've found. Okay, so the claims on this, they say it is non-greasy, hypoallergenic. I'd say it was maybe a little tiny bit greasy, but I have dry skin, so that actually appeals to me to glide on my skin like that. I don't know if it's, I don't know if I'd say it's sticky. It's, it's not as lightweight as the Make Prim yesterday. It has panthenol and ceramides and is a 100% physical mineral sunscreen. I do like that we have these plant ingredients listed on the back here so you can see it's got heart leaf in it, it's got Sika. And for the filters, it is zinc oxide listed first, which could explain why that white cast rapidly disappeared. And do we have, yes, we do have titanium dioxide as well. Uh, lots of amino acid ingredients. We have some some essential oil naturally occurring compounds in here. And that is going to be because there is indeed rosemary leaf oil. I don't know if everyone's going to like this smell, but I do. Also, I say I'm not great at smelling out specific scents, but rosemary, I will catch rosemary all the time. My absolute favorite almonds are these rosemary flavored almonds. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So for today's video, I am going to be going to the gym pretty soon. I don't want to wait until it gets hot outside. Mm -mm. We'll come back and reapply and do a later check-in and we'll actually compare. This is where we'll start doing the sunscreen comparisons. All right, see y'all in a bit. I'm back. It's been three, maybe four-ish hours. I actually haven't kept track. I will set a timer after this though, so I know. Gotta get a little better at this, Alice. Anyway, it is time for the reapplication. I did want to tell you about how it's worn so far. And in a word, it's worn incredibly well. It has just been 
like nothing. You know how, especially when you're working out, you know how sometimes your sunscreen, well, when you start sweating, your sunscreen can kind of run down your face and drip into your eyes and then your eyes start stinging. I had absolutely none of that. Again, it just kind of I would have forgotten I was wearing sunscreen completely if it wasn't for the slight dryness. I think that's just a mineral sunscreen thing though. They always feel a smidge drying, so you know, I just kind of missed throughout the day. I feel like this is kind of a perfect sunscreen, but then when I started thinking about it that way, I started kind of worrying. I mean, this is supposed to be an SPF of 50, but it applies exactly the same as my $42 Dr. Dennis Gross SPF 30, right? So I think before the day ends, I'll try to get a little more information on that. Maybe see if I can find some lab data on this sunscreen, just because, you know, <laughs> it looks like it's a perfect sunscreen, but sunscreen is such an important step that I want to make sure the information I'm giving you is correct, at least to the best of my ability. I think that's one of the hardest parts about just being a lowly YouTuber trying to give honest reviews is we're still relying on companies to be relating information to us accurately. I'm on my fourth band-aid already today because I don't know how to keep a band-aid on. I'm a small child. This sunscreen, y'all, I, I'm, I'm basically speechless. I, I'm basically speechless. This is so fast to apply. I'll be back in a bit with the final results. So I'm back with my final ranking and my thoughts about some uh, further digging that I did in terms of this formula. So let me start with a little bit about it. I did manage to find on Amazon via Credithink the percentages of the filters in here. So it is 11% zinc oxide and 3% titanium dioxide, which I'd say does compare to some of the other mineral sunscreens out there ranging from an SPF of 30 to 50. Also, it appears that this was manufactured by Cosan, which is the same company that does make Prim's sunscreens as well. And in the midst of that entire sunscreen scandal, Cosan did come out ahead of the company that Purito's sunscreen was made by. So I do feel overall comfortable with the SPF rating on this. Just know that there's no way I'm over here running spectroscopy, making sure that this is an SPF of 50. We do have some limitations on this channel for, for any YouTuber. Again, let's just be honest about that fact. But given that I do feel comfortable with the SPF rating, I have got to tell you, I am so blown away by this mineral sunscreen. It absolutely compares to some of my other favorites, Biosans and Dr. Dennis Gross, which are at least double the price of this. I have so few gripes with this product that to pull out a con for you, the only thing I can really say about this is I don't love the name. I don't love the idea that it's safe recipe. And yes, this company definitely does mention how they're EWG friendly, all of that. I just think it, it, it oversimplifies skincare so much to call a product safe versus not safe when allergies are this huge confounding variable. Is it safe? I mean, it's safe for people who have chemical allergies, especially if they don't even know that they do. They could use this sunscreen and say, oh my gosh, this works for me in contrast to uh, this other one from Neutrogena, but it's not gonna be safe for somebody who has an allergy to one of the constituents of rosemary oil. But that's it, that's my nitpicking. That's the most I can come up with in terms of what I don't like about this product. So. Let's do that final ranking. So for price, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. At retail, this would break down to 13 an ounce, but on sale for 15, $8 an ounce, which is not bad at all. Ingredients, four out of five, because again, there is a potential for allergy, which is really hard to get around. So not a bad rating, but potentially could be better. It's funny that my next rating is smell because I kind of feel like ingredients and smells rating might be butting heads. Because yes, the rosemary oil ingredient is contributing to the smell of this, but if you like the smell, well, it does smell good, at least to me. Application, five out of five, which is phenomenal for a mineral sunscreen. This applies so beautifully, so fast. 
Of course, white cast, 5 out of 5. Yes, there was a white cast initially, but it's a purely mineral sunscreen, and it disappeared so fast. Absolutely a 5 out of 5 for me on that one. Wear also 5 out of 5. And we tested this one at the gym. Very pleased with how this wears. And then for removal, also 5 out of 5. Had no issues whatsoever with removing it with a cleansing balm. That all breaks down to, yet again, another rating of an A. And in terms of final ranking, this is now number one. This is displacing Make Prim for me just because of how incredibly impressive this is. Again, considering this is a mineral sunscreen, for it to have less of a white cast than a, a mixed filter sunscreen that we tried yesterday, I'm blown away. So, you know, just keeping in mind that it still is mineral, so it still will have that initial white cast. It's still a little bit drying. It's still a little bit thick. All of the cons that come with mineral sunscreen are still present in this sunscreen, but to such a less pronounced impact that I, I'm blown away. I'm actually blown away by this sunscreen. So that's it. That's my review of the Peslo Safe Recipe Panthenol and Ceramide SPF 50 PA++++. Tune in tomorrow when we review the Eccentree Hyaluronic Acid Airy Sunstick. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time.